Are you limiting yourself? Now, this is going to be a series that I've been doing called, What Would I Say to My Younger Self? What would you say to your younger self? And this has been a series of videos that I've been doing, and, and you can look for them, all recent ones. And one of the things that um, I really would tell my younger self is, man, you got to dream bigger. You got to imagine bigger. You got to set your goals way, way, way higher. And, um, you know, that's easy to say me 62 now, looking back at my younger teenage self or myself in my 20s. But it's a crazy that when you truly, truly believe that once your imagination has got you jacked out of your mind, that the things that you've accomplished, like, you know, possibly like graduating school or graduating college or getting a job or getting your driver's license, uh, you know, maybe getting married, uh, maybe having children, um, maybe thinking while you got a job about getting another promotion. You know what I mean? And uh, earning more money for your family and uh, traveling. Oh my God, traveling, 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 traveling. There were so many limiting beliefs that I had when I was young. And I know now where they came from. They actually came from who I was listening to. So you become who you hang around. And so if there's no expectations on you, I always say this all the time. It's like, if everyone expects you to get a job and you get a job, wow, your expectations are pretty much done. And uh, now all of a sudden it's like, well, you know, get married, have children. Uh, that's for some people, you know? And then after that is like, you know, don't don't uh, do stuff unethical and and cheat and rob and steal and hurt people. You know, there's really not much expectations on us after we do those few things. And um, so if everyone that you hang around is a master at barely getting by, just going just, just a little bit, a little bit in debt, um, you know what I mean? And just, you know, paycheck to paycheck. And during this time in life, you know, when I'm doing this video, which is uh, April 16th, 2024, I don't know if you guys know this, but life is expensive. Life is expensive. So we just heard at the end of the first quarter of 24 that inflation went up another 3.8%. People, every time they go to the grocery store, every time they go to any store, anytime that they go to the gas station, they know that they're paying more money than they used to. And, you know, so what do you do? What do you do? Do you put in more hours? Do you get a part-time job? Um, there's all these things that, you know, I, I just wish I could do. And one of the things is, is back when I was young, because of who I hung around, it was like, I don't know where I pick up this idea, right? But I know it was from my environment and people. But I just believe that I wasn't smart enough to make a lot of money, that working to make a lot of money, you got to double or triple or quadruple the hours that you already are doing. And that's impossible. That's impossible. And so, you know, I didn't understand these things called residual and leverage. And, you know, how many people do you have responsible for your income? I've never heard of that thing. I, I never heard that, you know, hey, you could, you know, actually do something different. And when I started doing what other people did, that were on the other side of money. Money wasn't a despair in their life anymore. I just did what they did and I got what they got. And so I would have told myself really, really, really when I was young is Robert, pay attention to the people that have the lifestyle that you imagine. Because when you hang around people that make an above average income, uh, 200,000 a year, 250,000, 400, 500,000. See, all of us always think that, man, that would take so much more hours. I, I need to be smarter. Uh, I'm not that good with people. All these things that we put in our mind that are limiting. And so that's why we can't do that. And again, I want to tell everybody I'm dedicating this series uh, to my son, my youngest son, Kyle. And uh, because I see him doing that same thing. 
you know, when he's trying to figure out what he's going to do. Um, it's always neat. What am I going to do? be doing three years from now? Because we all believe that if we figured out what we truly love in life, what makes us passionate, what gives us joy, that there's no way that that thing can make us money. So what do we do? Instead of focusing on learning the things that we need to, to make that happen, to have compounding, to have, you know, leverage, to have residual, what we do is we go, nah, everybody just goes and gets a job. And so what do your friends and family tell around, tell, tell around, tell you when you venture to do like a side hustle? Are you learn to do things online to earn income? Right away, everybody says, you know what? I think it'd be better for you just to get a real job. <laughs> so what I would say to my younger self is imagine bigger. Imagine bigger. Don't put the thoughts in your mind when you're dealing with imagination that that's too big. That's too big. You know, right now I'm making like 35,000 a year. This was, you know, when I was in my 20s. So the thought of me going to 50,000, the thought of me going to 60,000, you know, the thought of me going to 100,000. See, this is how limiting our beliefs are. Um, we really can't imagine more. We really can't imagine more than like double our income. Isn't that crazy? So 37 years ago, going from an auto mechanic to learning how to uh, make money by helping other people, that just doesn't make any sense to me. And still to this day, it doesn't make sense. So, uh, you know, so when you hear little things like Zig Ziglar, you know, he'll say, if you help other people get what they want out of life, you'll get what you want out of life. And I'm like, um, nah, nah, I need to figure out what I need to do. So um, the other things, of course, in that limiting beliefs is travel. You know, I've never been to Japan or any country for 21 days just to enjoy myself and scope out everything that the country had to offer. I've never done that. Uh, I've filled my passport and working on my third. Um, but that's always like, you know, schedule, fly into the city or the country, uh, go from there to uh, a hotel to do a meeting or a training, uh, then get up the next morning, do that again, get up the next morning, do that again, get up the next morning, get to the airport, go home. And, uh, you know, when I look at what Kyle's doing right now in life, I asked my wife, Terry, I said, uh, hey, I'm about ready to do um, another, what would you say to your younger self? And she said, oh, I had no clue at a very, very young age that I could, you know, work on a cruise ship or I could, you know, work on a yacht and I could travel the world. You know what I mean? Uh, that I wish I had the courage, you know, when she got out of high school that her, that she said that I wish that I could have got Jolie, my best friend, just to move to New York. You know, so a lot of the time that Kyle spent in Japan was in Tokyo. And, uh, you know, we all like say there's excuses of why, 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 why we can't do fill in the blank. Don't we? It's like, well, you know, I, I, you know, it's not safe and everybody's going, you got to be out of your mind. And it's fun for my son now uh, because, you know, when people ask him, so what have you been doing? I just got back from Japan. I was there for 21 days. Um, what? What? And see, right, amount, right away they have in their mind, there's no way I could take off that amount of time. There's no way I could afford that. See, when you ask yourself those questions and you say, I would like to do that. I would like to have the time and I would like to have the money and I would like to have, you know, some people don't want to do anything by themselves. And so, you know, what if you had the money to be able to take somebody with you? I always seen where people, as they become successful, they have like this entourage around them, right? And I, I always was, what, what is that? Well, that is, I don't want to travel and do all these things by myself. I want to take family members or my best friends with me, you know? And uh, it's like, it's really, really unique. So that is the key to this message. 
is if I went back to my younger self, I would go, man, you, 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 now that you understand this concept and magic of imagination, and once you focus on those imaginations and you really, really, truly get emotional about it and excited about it to put it into action. Um, another one is on time, right? So, okay, I want to learn. And so right now, Kyle's learning Japan, Japanese, right? And uh, every time we go to do something, I'm going to learn a language. I'm going to learn like, you know, to do marketing online, or I'm going to learn to build a YouTube channel, or I'm going to learn to build a large affiliate and customer base um, that pays me leverage and residual and compounds. Um, we always, 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 always think that it's going to take forever. See, that's part of your limiting yourself. So it's like, wow, if I did that, you know, that would take like for years, it would take me forever. And let me help you with that one. You ready? The time goes by anyway. Isn't it ridiculous what we do to ourselves? It's like, uh, guess what? Five years from now, you're still going to be here. And are you going to have regrets that you didn't start today, that you didn't figure out, you know, how to find people with evidence of helping other people never worry about money again? They're there. And I'm here. So I can show you word for word, step by step, exactly how to start earning income that just keeps going up and up and up. So what if it takes five years? Five years is going to happen anyway. So all those things that you dreamed of doing, like traveling or, or learning to dance or learning new language or learning some other incredible hobby, you know what I mean? Um, you need to put that in your imagination. And while you're focused on that imagination, um, just know that the more you think about it, the more you're emotionally involved with it, the faster it happens, the faster it happens. So, you know, I've learned to a lot of people that, you know, six phase meditation by Vision Lakani, that if you spend, you know, at least, uh, a couple of minutes every day, imagining your perfect day three years from now. All you got to do is imagine your perfect day three years from now. And then what you do right behind that is you just start looking at every single, uh, you know, thing. Where would I like to wake up? Would I like to wake up when I'm done sleeping? What does it feel like in the room? What does it smell like in the room? What am I listening to? you know, birds or maybe water or waves. And what do I smell? You know, flowers or, um, you know, uh, uh, salt water, you know, <clears throat> it, it's just amazing. Like, you know, I live in Yellowstone, Montana, outside of a small, small city called Laurel. And uh, when people come to visit me and when I come back from places, I can smell clean air. It, it has a crispness to it, you know, very crisp. And, and uh, so what you got to do is think who you're with and, and um, you know, what you're doing during the day and just have the freedom, the freedom to do whatever you want, whenever you want, with whoever you want. And, um, you know, a majority of the people that I know in life that I constantly keep reaching out to they they they've actually created their life on things that they have to do. I have to go to work. I I I I have to pay these bills. I ha I have to. Ha their whole life is around you know being too busy and not having enough time to actually do the things that they would love to do with the people that they love. And so. That's what I would say to my younger self, because I spent a lot of years listening to other people that had no evidence in their life that they were joyful, that they were fulfilled, that they were making an impact, that they were helping others, donating to others. And, you know, we become who we hang around. And so that's one of the things I, I wanted to share with you guys today. 
Um, I love and appreciate you. Always remember that if, if no one's giving you permission to be fulfilled and successful beyond your wildest dream, let me do that for you. I'll give you permission because my mentors did that for me. And uh, man, you can do this. You can 100% do this. We have so many videos on youtube.com forward slash Robert Hollis and a lot of freedom. Everything that I know that can help you fulfill your wildest dreams and wildest imagination is available on this site, including um, groups that you can get involved with where we take things way deeper, like breakthroughs, the inner circle, or the imagine, imaginary. We do an Ask Me Anything on Saturdays. It's just, again, there is another world out there. And when you plug into that other world with other people that are doing it, a community of people that are all helping each other, you can do it and it will feel good. And you will get that stuff done that you that you always dreamed about. So again, please do me a huge personal favor. Like the video, click that little bell so you know when the next video is coming. I do my best to do at least one every day. And um, I'm here to help you. I'm here to help you. Uh, do me a huge personal favor and share this video with other people as well. So bye for now. We'll see you on the next video. And thank you very much. Have a great, great, great blessed day.